Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The Jafina babies are hatching. The Jafina two babies are hatching. Oh, cool. Yeah, isn't that, oh, oh my gosh. Are they Aww. normal? Normal. Normal. Normal, uh-oh. I think it's uh, our experiment is not working the way it should. Oh no, I think, oh, okay, well we're gonna let him oh, that sit. One rolled. That one did roll. Oh my gosh, you're a really cute baby, but okay, that, they are normal. Oh, can I see through that egg? That looks like a normal too. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay, so with this clutch, there is an experiment going on with genetics that we're trying to prove out, and we're hoping for a couple albinos, which would prove something very exciting. So we're going to let these guys take their time to come out and pip during the day, and we'll cut them tonight and yes. know for sure. Yep, what you doing? Gosh. I can't wait. I'm gonna, I'm looking at babies. Is this the first hognose clutch? No, Waffle and Penny already had their babies. Yeah, this is the second. That Was that one you did by yourself? Yes. Uh, yeah, you were not here. So this is the first one that oh, Ed's home for. Oh my gosh, yes. And this is such an exciting clutch too with their mom. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so I'm really, really hoping we see an albino hognose in this clutch. I'll explain why later, but I think we have to cut these eggs. Yep. Oh, oh my gosh, oh, wow. five! We have five little like heads poking out! He's upside down. Well, your mouth is off. Are you stuck? He might be stuck inside the hole. Oh yeah, he's totally got the poofy lip going. Aw, oh, dude! You're gonna have to help him out. Oh, do you need help? Oh, here, let me rip from the side. I don't want to get a razor blade that close to your face. Ta-da! <laughs> you're free! You're free! Let me just cut this so you don't get stuck again. Okay, there you go. Now you're free. That's oh, so gosh. cute. Oh, Gosh, just looking right at you. Looking right at the camera. Oh, so normal, normal. This guy's super cute too. Hello. Oh, normal, and that normal. One was earlier, he was normal. That was too. a normal too. Okay, so we have four more chances to get an albino. We'll see. Well, so let's let's start with the at symbol. Okay, so the at symbol. I wonder. Oh, you can see him through the egg. <gasps> oh yeah, there he there is. There it is. It's That's definitely normal. Definitely an oh, there is a really good shot right there. Yeah. Wow, yep, just looks like a normal to me, but just to help them out, we're gonna cut a little hole in the top of the egg. Honestly, as long as they're healthy babies, yep. I will be happy. Get ready for the instant deflation. Yeah, really. And these hognose shells are so thin, they're hard to cut. Okay, so we have an opening there. I don't know if we're gonna see much because he hasn't decided to pip yet. Oh, there's a baby hognose in there. Poke yep. test. Yep, he's flinching. Nice. He's healthy. Okay, how about, you know what? I think this one is stuck. Okay. He's got kind of that swollen face look too. <laughs> so we're gonna help him out as well. Hey bud, are you stuck? Oh, no, no, oh, yeah, okay, you made it back in. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna widen this a little to help you out. There you go, there now you, go. you will definitely not be stuck. <laughs> All right, how about exclamation I point? We should save that one for last. You think? Yeah, because okay. you put the four exclamation points there. Oh, okay. So well, that should be our last one. Let's do the pound sign first yeah. then. Hashtag. So, yeah, pound or hashtag, which is it? It's pound. Come on, albino, albino, albino. Okay, a little bit of blood. That has to go into his spiel. Again, for anybody new watching this, a lot of people probably already know this, but the blood is not a bad thing. Emily did not nick the baby. There's a lot of veins running on the outside of the shell. Inside of the shell. On the inside of the shell. Yep. That provide oxygen to the baby when they are growing. Yep. Uh, they naturally cut those when they're getting out, so this isn't going to hurt the baby yep, at all. Yep, baby's just fine. And it is in three, two, one. Oh. A normal! <laughs> Another normal! Okay, are you healthy? Poke, poke. Poke, poke. I think like, we're... Stop poking I'm pretty me. sure we're twitching there. Yeah. Okay, I think we're all right. Two more chances. Let's open up the question mark. Come on, be an albino. Come on, be an albino. Okay, question mark baby is three, two, one. Normal. A normal. <laughs> okay, last chance. I'm gonna guess that's a normal. I'm gonna guess this is a normal as well. And that is okay, I yep. guess. All right, we're gonna open this up. Tells us some things. It does still tell us some things about their mom. Okay. Exclamation point in two, one. <gasps> normal. normal. Belly shot. All right, poke test, you healthy at least? Yep. He's moving. Okay, they are all normals. They're all healthy, which is the important thing. Yep. I am a little bummed to see that they are all normals, but maybe there will be something else. Maybe patterns will be yeah. different. We're not gonna make any conclusions here until they come out of the eggs. So we're gonna give them another day. It's the moment, the moment we've all been waiting for. What hatched from these eggs? We are finally gonna see them all out of the eggs. Yep. Jeffina two babies. This has been a project, I don't know, four years in the making? Something like that. Something like that. <gasps> Look at him! <laughs> 
at all those normals and condas. Oh, normals and condas. Okay, I'm kind of bummed there aren't albinos, but it might be for the better if you think of it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give well, you more details in a second. Why would it be for the better? Well, because the, the, it would crash the market for albinos if it was Oh, weird. that's true. Yeah, okay, you guys will know what we're talking about in a second. Okay, so we have, let's go through them all, see if there's anything weird about them, just because this is an experimental clutch. This is a cute little coiled, uh, little mm -hmm. normal there. You are very cute. Yes, you are. Surprised you're not playing dead, to be honest. Okay, and then over here we have a cute little condom morph. Oh, you are adorable. Oh, yes, these you aren't are. moving at all. Yeah, they are really relaxed. I like it. I will take it. Oh, do we have, oh, I thought we had like condas and normals, like segregated, <laughs> but I see a normal, I think, under there and a conda right there. So they did not, they're not racist with each other. Yeah, that one's almost wow. like a xanthi or uh, caramel -y. Looks arctic -y. It does kind of look a little arctic -y, doesn't he? Yeah, that one's like, the color though, it's like caramel. If you compare him to the normal, like this is the bog standard color and pattern of a hog nose. He is kind of brighter or lighter yeah, in color. He's got like grays instead of browns. Yeah, you're right. He is really pretty. Then over here we've got, oh, another conda. Wow, this one has a, oh, this one has a heart on his back. Aww. That's so cute. You've got a heart. we got a second oh. heart boy. Yeah, oh my gosh, you are totally a little heart boy. Oh, you are sassy too. We've got and the tail curl. He's similar in sass as well. Yeah, exactly. Is it a boy? Oh my gosh, is it? Yep, yep, it's a boy. All right, you are heart boy. Heart boy too. <laughs> All right, and then we've got, looks like another conda right here. Oh, hang on. Oh, another, wow, look at the uniformity of the spots down the back. Dot, 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 dot. Yep, <laughs> that is a very uniform looking hog nose. Again, kind of like a caramely color. That one's really pretty too. They're all very calm snakes too. Yeah, they are. Okay. Especially after just dealing with milk snakes. Yeah. Here's another conda, kind of a blurry pattern around, or blurriness around all the blotches. Really pretty there. Down here we have another normal by the looks of it. A kind of another bog standard normal. Very cute though. And that leaves us with these two, if I am remembering correctly. We've got a little normal. Oh, you're tiny. Oh, that's super busy pattern. Yeah, you're right. That is a really busy pattern. Look at all those spots. They're do 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 do. Wow, you are really cute and pretty simultaneously. And then the last one probably has the most reduced pattern of them all, wow. this conda, which kind of like what you were saying, almost looks arctic-y with the outline around those spots. Mm -hmm. That is really pretty. Okay, well, we've... Hmm? That one's sticking his... Do it again, do it again. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I'm smelling the outside world, <laughs> even though I could go from above. <laughs> And there's no kinks, there's no deformities at all. Like they all look really, really healthy and all of the eggs hatched. That is really cool. All right, so we have dragged this on long enough. All of you are probably wondering what the big experiment was and now we are going to share it with you. All right, this whole project started about five years ago. I'm really excited and kind of nervous to be sharing this story with you finally after keeping it a secret for so long. A friend of ours loaned us an albino female adult hognose snake for a breeding project. But what was special about her was that she was found in the wild in our area. So he legally collected her and had her for a while, quarantined her, and then decided, you know what, we can collab together Together, we can learn about her genetics. So he loaned her to us. We named her Jeffina just for ease of identification. And then we paired Jeffina to a uh, Bueller, I believe, our albino hognose snake. Yes. And it didn't take because we received her too late in the breeding year. So it did, just didn't work out and that's fine. But she was an adult. I mean, she was found in the wild as a fully grown albino hognose snake. It's amazing she wasn't eaten by a predator. We weren't sure how old she was. She could have been two years old, she could have been 20 years old. We, we weren't sure. So since it didn't work to breed her the first year to an albino, we just wanted to breed her with somebody. And we had Luppy here, who was a proven breeder male hognose. Yeah, he's we, a good breeder for us. He is a very good breeder. So we're like, well, just to pass down her genetics, we know we can breed her to Lumpy and we'll get babies out of them. So we paired them and we got babies. And that clutch hatching is on our channel. That is the Jafina and Lumpy clutch. But what was surprising was that Lumpy here is a completely normal phase hognose snake. He was a rehome situation, a fan mailed him to us and we bred him to an albino and we got albino hognose snakes. So we were like, oh my gosh, does this 
wild albino hognose snake have a dominant, a new dominant strain of albinism? Or is Lumpy het albino and we just didn't know? So we were going to test it out again the following year by breeding her to a male hognose that we knew for sure wasn't het albino, but unfortunately Jeffina passed away before we could do that. Thankfully though, we held back all of the offspring from that first clutch. We split it with our friend who we did this collab with. So he's raising half the babies, we raised half the babies, and one of those babies is Jeffina too. She came from that clutch. She is one of these beautiful albino hognose snakes. And she not only is an albino, she has some really pretty outlines around her blotches. She has nice yellows, but she is from that initial Jeffina to Lumpy clutch. So Lumpy here, is actually her dad. So we've been raising up these babies from the Jafina Clutch for about three years now. Uh, yeah. And Jafina too here was the best eater, so she grew the fastest, and she became a breeding size quicker than anyone else. So she was our experiment this year. So this year, to continue the experiment and finally figure out what type of albinism this was, if it was dominant or recessive, we bred Jafina too to Bruh, who we know is not het albino. He's just a condomorph and that is it. We've bred him to an albino before and we have not gotten albino, so we know he does not carry the albino gene. Bred them together and if we would have gotten albino babies from this pairing, that would have told us that her strain, or Jeffina's, the original albino hognose from the wilds albino strain, was a dominant strain. And if that was the case, then we would have just discovered a brand new Alba or dominant albino strain, which would have been bonkers. It would have probably yeah. crashed the market for albino hognoses. Well, it would have spiked with that albino for a little while. That's true, <laughs> yeah, but then it would have tanked yep. because dominant genes typically aren't as expensive as recessive genes because they're just easier to produce since yep. they are a dominant strain. But as you can see, these two paired together created all normal colored babies. So what that tells us is the albino gene from the original Jeffina is a normal recessive trait. And we learned Lumpy is head albino. <laughs> and we learned that too. And on top of that, we learned that this new wild albino strain is found on the same allele or it works in the same exact way as the albino strain that's currently in captivity. They can be combined to create albinos. Sometimes you get morphs like the exanthic morph in bull snakes. There's two different strains and they're not compatible with one another. But this albino strain, we learned just now that it is the same acting albinism as what's currently in the hognose community. But what's still really exciting is this is a brand new strain of albinism. It does work the same as the current one and it's, re it's recessive and all that, but this albino strain is brand new. This bloodline, this strain of albinism is brand new to the reptile keeping community because it's derived from a brand new female that was found in the wild. Hopefully all that makes sense. And hopefully that makes you realize how special this girl is being a brand new bloodline, new strain of albino, even if it is just a recessive trait like the other albino strain that people are working with today. But this is a new bloodline. Like we can avoid inbreeding now by using her bloodline to breed more albinos and to combine albino with exanthic to create snows. We can use her and her siblings that we held back from the Jafina clutch to create healthier, stronger albino versions of hognoses. Yeah. It just does show that the most common sense way of looking at it is usually right. Yeah, we, so. we did have a hunch that it wasn't going to be a dominant strain. No. We kind of hoped it would because it would have been kind of cool to have a different type of albinism in hognoses, but I'm okay with it being yep. just a recessive strain. And now we know Lumpy's head albino. And now we know Lumpy's head albino. Yeah, ta-da! We figured that out this year. So now we can breed him to head albino stuff and yeah, get albino babies. Exactly. Uh, so sorry, that was a lot of genetics talk. I hope some of you were able to kind of follow along with that. But yeah, these babies, even though they look normal, they are all het for the new albino that's now in captivity. They are het the Jeffina albino. Oh my gosh, all the babies are out. Yes, they are. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna take a final look at them and then set them up in their baby bins. But first, you can get the glitter Snake Discovery yeah. shirt at snakediscoverystore.com. Okay. Look at that beautiful shirt. It's so shimmery. It can be yours all for $24.99? $19.99. All for $19.99. <laughs> Even cheaper. Wow. <laughs> all right, babies, Jeffina and Bra. And now that you know the official story, you can look at them all with the a normals. whole new light. Oh, 
they're so pretty. That one's really pretty too. Yeah, look at that reduced pattern. That they're one's so got stripes instead of spots. Ooh, you're right. Now uh, all of these babies. This one has hearts. Oh yeah, my, we pointed that out Did last we? time. Yeah, no. he's got a cute heart right there. I apparently wasn't paying attention because there's two down here too. Oh, look how flat he is. Oh, he is upset. Wow, you are a cool little figure eight right now. Wow, infinity sign or figure eight. Wow, you're so pretty and angry. Uh -huh. Hi, cutie, could Let you- Let me go. Could you be any flatter? Oh, wow. So these babies, we have to decide. How many are we, are we letting them all go? Because this is a brand new strain of albinism that they are all het for. They are kinda het for the Jafina albino. I, I assume we're gonna let these go, but hopefully to breeders. Yeah, we can to, do that. Just to improve the albino line in captivity, because this is a new bloodline, we are going to have preferential treatment I guess to people who want them for breeding purposes yeah, because have, it's for the better of the species. You have an albino or het albino conda or superconda or something else that's going to be able That'd to be, be expression with them. Yeah. You'll probably get first dibs on these guys because they're all het albino. Yeah, yeah. What if somebody wants a pair of them? They want to produce pure Jafina strain albino. That's up to you. I would think, since it's a brand new bloodline and hasn't been inbred yet, I would think one pair together should be okay. okay. Um, so yeah, and anyway, so that's just kind of our thoughts behind selling these babies. We really want them to go to breeder homes because of their unique genetics. Look at that one's crazy pattern. Yeah, that's a, that's a detailed pattern. Wow, they're all so different. Yeah, they are. Looking at all of these. Okay, so there's a couple normals. One, two, three normals. But one, two, three, four, five condas, we hit good odds with these babies. Good odds this entire year. We've gotten really lucky so far. Wait, when are the, the lavenders supposed to come? Uh, those are due to hatch in like two weeks. Oh, okay. Ooh, hopefully when we're not at Schomburg. Oh, it's gonna happen when we're at Schomburg. Probably, yeah. <laughs> but lavenders are on the way. But okay, their patterns are one thing, but their colors are another. Look at their size difference. I mean, I know he's flattened out, but still, like, yeah. he's a baby compared to this one. Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh, they are so pretty. Nope. He's not gonna play dead. No. <laughs> yeah. They like figure eights. They do. Oh, look at this one, such reduced pattern. That is so pretty. I wonder if there's anything influential to pattern with this new bloodline too. I don't really know. They seem to vary so much. It's oh, hard really to tell. Pretty with the whites. Yeah, that one's so pretty too. Wow, I cannot believe the variety. We might have to keep one of these ourselves. Yeah. Mm, which one would you like to keep if you got to choose? I mean, that one, now that I've noticed them, it's like that those really whites pretty. are really pretty. Yeah, this one almost looks like it's a morph of itself, to be honest, yeah. not just a conda. Let's see, are you a male or a female? Male. Male. Hmm. Well, if we kept you, what are you? Are you a male or a female? I really like this one. Going for some albino supers. Yeah, oh, that's a male too. Shoot. How about you? Flat boy. Flat right. girl. Uh, flat girl. girl. Yeah, that's totally a girl. All right, so we might have to keep. Upsetty girl. Might have to keep this pair just because they are so unique being het new albino, Jafina albino. All right, well, we'll see. Well, we all have to make sure they're good eaters first. Yes. They have to pass the eating test, but let's set up baby bins. All right, baby bins are set up and now we're gonna put the babies in. Oh, I'm so excited for these babies. I cannot wait to see the future of these too. When they're old enough to breed, passing down that new gene. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so cool. Yep, okay. two two per bin, because that makes baby hognoses eat better. Yep, and then do regular with conda. Yeah, that would make sense to Perfect. me. Okay, just for feeding records. Yep. Conda, it's gonna be a little tricky though, because we only have three normals. Conda and normal. We could do like the super high expression conda oh, with a lower work. expression conda. Yeah, okay, conda and normal. Oh, there you go, yep. And Really nice conda with normal conda. Still very pretty though. These are all unique snakes. I just can't get over them. Yeah, it's a bunch of condas and normals, but they're so special. Oh, I hope you guys realize how special these are too. Okay, babies are all set up. Oh my goodness, this one is just still flat as can be. Oh really? Yes. Look at how angry he is. She. She, she. That's why she's been upset. You keep calling her as a sorry, male. Sorry, sorry. I understand. Yes, you are angry, aren't you? <sighs> The, the uh, epic test has finally come to an end. Yep. We now know how the gene works. And here is Jeffina too, the proud mom. There she is. Look, those are your babies. Those are your little bacon bits down there. Yes. Do you see your babies? Gosh. I don't care about them. Yeah. 
She is, again, a really pretty albino too. She's got nice outlining around her spots and further breeding or testing will be needed to know if that's genetic, genetic as well. Maybe it's tied to her line of albinism. I have no idea. But we now know that this is a recessive trait. Yep. We know that Lumpy is het albino. Yep. <laughs> and we know that she and Lumpy make beautiful babies together. Yes, they do. Yes. So maybe Lumpy next year with her. Yeah, might do it again. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. Let us know which baby in this clutch below is your favorite. Oh, she flattened out again. Yeah, she did. She's back to being <laughs> super huge noodle. She's like a liquid hog nose. Yeah, she looks like a leech. She kind of does look like a leech. Okay, if we keep her, her name is Leech. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let us know which one of these babies is your favorite in the clutch. There's so much variation, I just still can't get over it. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support. And thank you to everyone who guessed, who had a guess as to what we were testing with this clutch. You had some fantastic guesses. Some of you were on the right track. One Someone person got it right. Yeah. One person got it right in her egg video, if I remember correctly. I so. so if that was you, nice job. And and uh, we'll see you next time. Good job, Mama. You made those.